It does look good. So will I screw this up if I throw coleslaw on it? Because I love... Wait, what are you doing there? So we're heading into our team meeting this morning. And what's really exciting is we're in our first month of the Patrick O'Connor team at Caldwell Banker, already looking at a great February combined. We have over 25 listings and closings coming up. We're really excited. And now watch this, I'm gonna scare Rebecca. Watch this. Did I get her? Did you get a link for the app? Daniel should have sent everybody oh, yeah. one. It looks did you nice. check it out? Mm -hmm. So we're still working on it. It's not ready to launch, but this will be an app that you just tell your buyers to download. They'll be able to search from MLS and it will alert you and keep track of everything they, they search for. The big thing with this is to really get your clients to understand that if they're using Zillow for their search, they're gonna be way behind. We're entering in this really fast market and if they're waiting for things to pop up, they're gonna be behind. They're gonna The big thing to remember is when you write the description to have chunks of inform information. And if you need some examples, I can give them to you. But make sure you're looking at, you know, here's what's great about the location. Here's a walkthrough of the property. You know, I, I've shifted to saying, you know, as you enter in the front door, there's a welcoming entry, dining to the left, office to the right, kind of walking them through it. And then all the other good things about the property in big chunks so he can have picture, chunk of information, picture, chunk of information. That has four or five, that four or five times. The more you write, the better it is, the more it relates to the property. The more you do that, the more SEO Google juice we're gonna get. See and tranquility surrounded our sur oh, <laughs> unparalleled privacy and tranquil surroundings in equal measure. Stole that. Stolen. I I do handhold through the whole proce yeah. process, and that's just constant texts, constant calls, yeah. constant emails, like constantly keeping them updated. Anybody else? All right, let's go sell. Put me on there as a sponsor. Put me on as a sponsor and a, a recommendation. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. No, that's good. I think they're they're happy. They're good. So we can inspect any time. Okay. Awesome. Um, let's see here. I've got that. Yeah, it's got more uh, more information about it. How did that go? Fly, so, like, okay, so it's training. Yeah, so it's training on how to become an REO agent. Okay. Well, I think it's I think it's a good thing to do. I mean, if you want listings, like that's a good way to get yeah, them. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I mean, the no. Price is low price I ended up using median days, which I thought. Okay. Yeah. 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 All senses there. Hey, how are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, I didn't print that. I need to print that. This is why we can never leave. All right. Come on, print. This thing is so slow. All right, we're good. Patrick O'Connor. How are you? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, send me an email. And don't let me forget. If you don't hear back from me tonight, send me another email. Just, I don't want to forget about it, but I'll send you what I've got. Awesome. Well, thanks for calling. Yeah, thank you for taking time to talk to me. All right, let's do it. I haven't been here in half a year. This looks different for some reason. Hey, you got to come over here, Philly. Good. For you. Good. Good, thanks. Good. Should we do buffet? Can we see a menu? Yeah, absolutely. I'll leave this here just in Okay, thank you. Uh, what do you want? Sweet tea. I'll do a water. Oh, you want to just roll the whole time and we'll just, we'll just go for it? So I have made Philly eat all kinds of stuff that, that's new and exciting and interesting and for her. Today I thought we'd come and have some barbecue. We're here at Hudson's in Lexington and this is what Philly, Philly loves barbecue. So she's going to educate us a little bit about barbecue. She's from, you're from Texas originally, I'm right? I'm from Texas, yes. And you barbecue were, in Texas is 
the same except the sauce. Okay, and so how do you feel about oh. our our sauce, our southern yellow? You don't like it. Not the vinegar base. Mustard. No mustard base. You like the ketchup base, right? Yes. Ketchup Have base. you tried the southern? You've tried oh, the southern yeah. sauce. Oh yeah. Thank and you. I'll eat it. So what do you when you order? What do you normally get? I order a chopped okay that sounds good can I, I order that yeah let's i'm gonna go off the menu because i always get the uh buffet and then i eat too much yeah i can't eat that much let's go let's do that let's yeah. see i love the catfish but i don't know yeah. if i want something it's fried sweet tea yes thank you mm -hmm. yeah, thank you uh yeah okay. thank you all right let's see boston butt whole hog oh that's like bulk food I don't need, don't need bulk. <laughs> no, I don't need bulk. I've been doing, I haven't, I didn't have breakfast. No, I did. I had, I had two eggs, the Q nachos. Have you had the barbecue nachos? I don't think so here. I'm not going to eat nachos because last time I ate nachos on camera oh. and then they put all the, the bites of the chips together and it just looked like I ate a whole bag of chips, which I probably did. Do you put pickles on it? It says they have pickles mm -hmm. upon request. You put yeah. pickles on yeah, barbecue? You do. In Texas, they have a, a little bar with raw onion, rings, pickles, and then only two sauces. They don't have mustard sauce in Texas. It's vinegar and tomato. Yeah. So pickles are a big part of it. Really? Okay, I'll try pickles. You know, I lived in Texas for two years. Yeah, but you were little. Do you I was remember little. eating barbecue? No, I didn't eat. I don't remember the barbecue. I remember... We lived in a neighborhood with all these amenities that were amazing. Like they had a one of those um, beach areas where it had the waves. Oh, really? The, the, oh, yeah. It was in called Stonebridge Ranch outside of, it's in McKinney, Texas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's still there. It's like one of the biggest yeah. neighborhoods. But they had like a wave machine and it was like being at a beach. They brought in sand. It was amazing. But I remember, things I remember about, about Texas, everybody's window is huge. They're like big, giant windows yeah. on houses. Yeah and you're sitting there eating, and your neighbors walk by and they look right in your house and they wave at you. That stands out to you. Yeah, that stands out to me. The big windows, the tall ceilings, because I remember all the houses had really tall ceilings. And, and then I remember the tornadoes would come by and everybody just acts like nothing's happening. But, and you can see them. And they're saying like they're, take cover and nobody does. Nobody does. They're 50 miles out and you see it going and nobody does anything about it. When we were, uh, when I was a child, I can remember we would, we would all get in the hallway and put the couch over the top of us for a mat. Really? I think we're good. Yeah. What do you want? Um, a chopped beef sandwich, brisket. Brisket. Okay. And you want pickles on that, right? Yeah. It comes with pickles, right? On the Let side. Let me see. Mm -mm. It doesn't, but I'll see if we have some back there, and I'll tell you okay. the person that we did. I'll do the same with pickles. You were talking about the tornado. I remember when here, now you weren't here then. Were you here during the tornado that came through Lexington? No, 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 no. And we were in the closet hiding in Lexington next to Gibson Pond. And we heard that tornado come by and it does, sounds like a freight train. And I remember my dad wanting to go out and see, like we heard it, it went past and he wanted to go out and look. And the sign for Corley Mill Road flew from Corley Mill all the way to our house by Gibson Pond in our yard. It was in our front yard. I think it's still hanging. That sign is hanging in my dad's barn. But it was terrifying. It was, wow. it was scary. So did you have any tornadoes like hit you or come close or mm -hmm. no? And do they come into the city? They don't come into the city, do they? No, never hit the town. Yeah. No, they don't even come in the town. Oh, look at this. That was quick. Yum. That does look good. Chopped beef brisket, yes. Are you sure you don't want to go have some uh, sushi or you're no. good? It does look good. So will I screw this up if I throw coleslaw on it? Because I <laughs> oh love, God, wait, what are you doing there? I'm just eating it with the, with the All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the coleslaw on there. I love that. You know what I That's love? What else I do? What's that? Coleslaw? <laughs> I'm not gonna eat nachos because last time I ate nachos on camera. And then they put all the, the bites of the chips together and it just looked like I ate a whole bag of chips, which I probably did. Mm, it's really good. Isn't it delicious? I do think it's interesting though that we're in South Carolina and that's their go-to. They don't put the mustard sauce on it. Me too. 
That's why I like it. Yeah. 